Hey universe, hold on, let me do something, let me do something real quick, hold on. Everybody out there one time, let me hear you say T dot How did you first fall in love with music? I just kind of always had music around me. And then even in the neighborhood that I grew up in, it was one where if you went to the basketball court, somebody would be out there with a ghetto blaster, you know what I mean, yeah. playing music. Yeah. During the breakdance era when I was really small, like everybody used to bring the cardboard yeah, did out. Did you have your own cardboard? Uh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. We all brought our own cardboard out. Watch no faces, just, just play out the two girls. girls. Uh, as a little kid, it still seemed like something unattainable. It didn't seem like a sustainable career. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it's, yeah. it was at the time, it was like, yeah, that's cool, but that's what they do south of the border. It's not something that we really did here. So it wasn't until much later when the whole DIY independent movement came in that we realized that we're like, yo, like, this is something that we can, that we can do. Girl, I can't notice but to Sing it out. notice you. I want to hear you. Noticing me. Louder, louder. From across the room, I can see it. And can't stop, stop myself, myself from, from looking. looking. And noticing you. Say what, say what. Noticing me. Hey. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, that's her, the big dog trying to get a little kitty to purr. I want to talk a little bit about uh, stuff you do, it's philanthropic stuff you do in your community and what that means to you. Well, I kind of, to be honest, like I grew up um, heavily influenced by my mom, who has always been like, can't even say knee deep in the community, like neck deep in the community since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like that was my normal. So what's dope is like um, right now, uh, my wife and I, we have um, a non for profit. I get to do things that are related to music, you know what I'm saying? Do things that I would normally do otherwise, things that I'm passionate about and that I have fun with. And I love to know that all those efforts are going to so many different amazing things, not just in Canada, but literally around the globe. Snake mode. Talk a little bit, then take that home. She better, she know the deal. That's what I can't have, what she want to reveal. I mean, make it good and happy. I'm one of those people that believe what you speak out into the universe is what it'll be. That energy that you put out, it's, it's what it's going to be. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, whatever it is that you want to do, you just got to go do it. You know what I'm saying? And and when you put that energy out there, the universe will find a way to make everything happen. Watch out, I've seen her. That girl is so dangerous. 